Welcome to African Horizon. In this program, I'm going to look at developments in Tanzania and East Africa after Tanzanian President Samia Sulu Hassan was sworn into office on March 19th. She's only been in office for about seven weeks, but it's already been very eventful. In April, she visited Uganda where she met President Museveni and they signed the East African Crude Oil Pipeline deal. You know, that's going to be a 1500 kilometer pipeline stretching from Lake Albert in northern Uganda, across Uganda and Tanzania, to Tanga on Tanzania's northern coastline. That's part of a larger development where they're also going to develop the Chile oil field and Kingfisher oil field by Lake Albert. They're going to build facilities near each oil field. In addition, they're going to build a refinery by Kabala near Lake Albert and a petroleum products pipeline stretching from Kabala to Bulula near Kampala, the Ugandan capital. You know, this total development is going to cost up to 16 billion US dollars and they assume that oil exports can start in the beginning of 2025. This is going to be a major project in development and going to drive, you know, thousands of jobs in Tanzania and Uganda going forward and be very important for both countries and drive a lot of revenue. This week, President Hassan visited President Kenyatta in Nairobi in Kenya and they signed an LNG pipeline deal and they're now going to build an LNG pipeline from Dar es Salaam in Tanzania up to Mombasa on the Kenyan coastline. That's going to be a 650 kilometer pipeline and really important because then, you know, Kenya can start import gas from Tanzania going forward. In addition, President Hassan and President Kenyatta signed various other deals. They're also going to you know, develop road connectivity, also strengthen the road from Lindi on the Kenyan coastline down by Lunga Lunga all the way to you know, uh, Bugamoyo north of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. So you know, there's going to be a range of products you know, on roads and also aviation promotion is really going to go forward. And it's going to be very important because Tanzania now can develop relations both with Kenya and Uganda. You know, it's really important for East Africa. In addition, next year, Tanzania probably is going to start with partners to develop an LNG facility by Lindi in southern Tanzania. And that's going to be a very important project. I'm going to project development is going to go on until I think 2028 when they can start the you know, LNG exports. However, you know, in northern Mozambique, you know, the security situation is very serious because of the you know, terror attacks in Cabo Delgado. Therefore, the Tanzanian government really need to strengthen the security zone on the southern perimeter so that you know, there is no spillover of terrorist activity from northern Mozambique into southern Tanzania. That's going to be very important because Lindi, where they're going to build this LNG facility, is only 140 kilometers from the Mozambican border. So therefore, they really need to strengthen security along the southern border with Mozambique because what separates Mozambique and Tanzania is the Ruma River. The Ruma River stretches inland between Tanzania and Mozambique and that's really you know, kind of a porous border where, you know, so they're really need to strengthen and really build that robust kind of strength the barrier all the way there so that there is no spillover and so that the LNG facility development in Lindi can really move forward because that's going to take several years. So that's going to be very important. Therefore, for Tanzania going forward and President Hassan and her new government, you know, there's going to be important developments, you know, with security focus combined with economic developments and infrastructure connectivity, you know, energy projects going forward. So now Tanzania is in a very important period. And, you know, the next election is towards the end of 2025. You know, she can run for a new, you know, new period. And if she wins, she will remain a president in Tanzania until, you know, 2030. So then, you know, she, I think this decade could be very interesting and important for Tanzania and East Africa as a region going forward. So well, thank you so much for joining and please remember to subscribe to African Horizon and I'll see you next week.